All right, welcome back to Heavy Rain. Name when we last left Good off, we were you, with, at, with Shelby at the gas Can station with you, the sir? puppy man. Who has well, I hope very, so. Very beady eyes. My name's Scott Shelby. Like I'm a puppy. A private detective. Uh, I'm Look at those eyes. The case of the origami killer. I, I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. Puppy man ain't having nothing. The killer has kidnapped another victim. A ten-year-old boy. Like but I son, persisted. Because I'm a good detective. Before we find his body on a deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything to save my son. Now, you would I wasn't there. Move along, sir. I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm Fine, not puppy man. At least I won't That's go away completely like. empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thanks. I've called him that every single time that I've tried to record this part. This is the last time I'm recording it because there's no way to mess this up. Good evening, because sir. Because I'm recording it now, post, after the footage is already Are there, and my headset is definitely in there, so there's no sputtering Give in either program. Register. Don't fucking try anything. Open the register, you dumb He's fuck. He's like, I don't play, man. Counter. I don't play. Shit, are you deaf or what? Are you gonna open that you fucking register You can tell it's a robber by the hat. No, sir. You do not have the right to steal that money from me. I have worked very hard to earn it. You cannot have it. That guy's a badass. He's saying no come to here. a gun. And I failed that. I said come here now! Don't move! Hands up! Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot! I really... I really wanted to not have my put don't my hands up to see just what would happen, calm. but I don't want Shelby to get Nobody shot just because I want to do something stupid. Uh, we're all just gonna be cool, and everything will be all right. Yeah, yeah. I'm cool, man. Everything's gonna be all fucking right. You don't really want to shoot anybody, do you? See, I was inching closer sure every time he says something nice. I'm sure we out of this mess, right? You're not a killer, are you? You just want a few extra dollars. No blood on your hands. No, I'm not a killer. I ain't no killer. Look, it's not worth it. No one wants to be called a killer. Put the gun it just down happens to people. And just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give you some fucking advice. Uh, my name's Scott. What about you? What's your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. Do you have anyone you care for in your life? A, a girlfriend, maybe? A family? Yeah. A little girl. I got a little girl. Her name is Jessica. What would Jessica think if she saw you here? Ask yourself. What would happen to her if things go wrong? She would be most disappointed. Nice try. For a second there, you almost had me believing all your shit. I don't think there's any way to persuade him. You just need to lay down some cop intervention. And he's on the ground. And... Kerpow. Right in the kisser. Thousand thank you, sir. I he took less of beating there and then he you took in the <laughs> prostitute's this apartment. This come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I? Hint, hint, foreshadowing. Ethan gets the same box in the same session that I lost earlier. Please, 
Take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza, but maybe it will help you find the other little boy. You're a good man, puppy man. You're good people. I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. So I can see now that I was wrong. He should be calling the police. He shouldn't be just standing there looking all happy that he saw someone good. Because that guy could wake up and be like, Give me the money, man. And now we meet Madison. The only girl that you play as. Her apartment is very big. I would love to have an apartment that size. It's huge. And in New York, too. That would be awesome. That would be awesome to sit through a rainstorm like that. With the, so many windows and stuff. <laughs> if I try to stay busy, it might actually help me get to sleep. I just wanted to get as much of her dialogue out of the I way need. as possible. I shouldn't take those damn pills again. There is a shower scene here, but thankfully I avoided having to do it by doing everything else. And I didn't avoid it because I didn't like seeing it. I avoided it because I would have to edit it. We don't want Headache Puppy having to get in involved again. He does not approve of nudity in any any way, shape, or form. He loves gratuitous violence, but he doesn't. He doesn't. He's not one for nudity. He can barely stand showering. I bet, just with how much he hates it. Then I went to the fridge. Then I went to the fridge. There was nothing good in there, so I closed the fridge. Went on my merry way. I walked down towards the table in the living room, in the kitchen. I opened a magazine. There were women in it. They had very pretty outfits on. That's, that's the Bastion narrator crossed with Madison. No, it won't. Shower. That'll create the magic of sleep. Uh, That's what I decided on. Maybe I'll go on. to bed and give the sleep thing one more shot. Showers never helped anyone. Showers have killed people before. Oh no, who is it? Who is it? Nothing happened. Just yet. And I decided to keep just exploring. Picked up the remote, turned off the TV, and then I looked at the watch and it gave some more dialogue. I'm just narrating what happened while I think of something else useful to say. I swear I heard something. I, uh, I swear I heard something. Good job, Madison. You are. I think you're starting to lose it. 2.47 a.m. Always the same time. Goddamn insomnia. I'm totally I know the exhausted, but I just can't I've been in, sleep. I've woken up in the middle of the night, just unable to go to sleep. It was crazy. I went in the bathroom here. There was one awkward thing that I had to leave in, but I don't have to edit it out because 
It's just gross. It's not. That's not a. That's not nudity. She takes the pill, and it does nothing. The pill does nothing, ladies and gentlemen. The pill does nothing. I just decided to stare just to see if anything would happen. I don't know why I stared. I was being stupid. This doesn't make for an exciting video to watch. I decided go pee. Oh, girls don't use the bathroom. Girls don't use the bathroom. Oh, my God. It's horrible to watch. Horrible. Now it's over. I was just like, I'm out of here, yo. And now things are starting to heat up. I don't know why I turned around like that. I, and I go to the computer and I think that's where I just decided to end this part. Yeah, it is. So I'll go ahead and just wrap things up. Shit's about to hit the fan in the next part. I will see you guys then when we find out who is in this apartment and the circumstances. Hope you guys enjoyed my second attempt at live commentary or post commentary. It's probably not as good. It's it's not I know it's not as good as my normal. But till then